Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're diving into a captivating case study where we'll be exploring the declining profits faced by UK Waterways, a government-managed entity responsible for managing the country's vital water navigation systems. Join us as we break down the situation, ask crucial questions, and arrive at potential solutions to reverse this profit slump. Our client, UK Waterways, has been experiencing a decline in profits over the past two years. We're joined by an expert to help us navigate through the details and uncover the root causes behind this issue. Let's jump right into the conversation. Before we delve into the situation, let's clarify our objectives. Are we aiming to reverse the profitability decline or simply identify the reasons behind it? Great question. The government's goal is to not only understand the decline but also seek remedies and avenues for growth. Excellent. Now, let's establish the timeline. How long has this issue been persistent? The decline has been noticeable over the past two years. I see. Let's get a grasp of the players involved. Who manages the waterways in the UK? The British Waterways and the Environment Agency are the main authorities overseeing inland rivers, canals, estuaries, and harbors. These entities have merged into a single unit. And are there any other competitors operating in the same region? No, these two authorities are the primary navigational players in the region. Perfect. Now, let's explore the customer base and services provided. Customers engage in various activities, such as tourist travel, cargo services, ship docking, and waterways licensing. Pricing for these services is competitive. Indeed, profit hinges on revenue and cost. Let's start with revenue, specifically in tourism travel, harbor charges, cargo movement, and other sources. What's the revenue trend in these areas? Revenue has been steadily growing across all these revenue sources. Good. Shifting to costs, let's break down the cost side and the overall value chain. The cost aspect encompasses port maintenance, fleet upkeep, HR costs, including labor, IT system maintenance, operational costs, machinery, printing, billing, and fuel. Where has the cost increase been most pronounced? The maintenance cost of the fleet has seen a significant rise during this period. Interesting. Fleet maintenance cost equals number of ships multiply average maintenance cost per ship. Has the increase been due to more ships or higher maintenance cost per ship? It's primarily due to a substantial increase in the average maintenance cost per ship. This points to a breakdown analysis where increased cost is a product of number of breakdowns per year per ship multiply average cost of repair per ship. This could be linked to procurement issues, inventory management, or an aging fleet. Precisely. Breakdowns have increased due to our older ships requiring frequent maintenance. Any suggestions to tackle this? Certainly. A few potential solutions include, one, Introducing or replacing older ships with newer models. 2. Outsourcing maintenance to companies with economies of scale. 3. Considering price adjustments due to our business monopoly. Excellent suggestions. Thank you for your insights. There you have it, folks. We've dived deep into the case of UK Waterways declining profits, discussed key questions, and explored potential solutions. It's clear that addressing the fleet maintenance challenge could significantly impact the bottom line. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful case studies and solutions. Until next time, keep exploring, innovating, and problem-solving.